Hey guys, we want to talk today about Made in China. And here we have a pair of Flame Pandas, Mock Tools, and Grandstone. Grandstone shoes, boots, sorry. These are the brass, the brass boot. And two different, two different companies from China with different backgrounds. Um, first, a, a little bit of introduction. Flame Panda is uh, made by a, a, a guy called Peng. Peng, uh, I think the last name is Meng Meng. And he worked with her, I don't know, he's the, he's the, the principal guy over there, uh, the, main, the, the main role. Who, who, who worked with the boots, but he had uh, help with uh, his aunt and a, a sibling, or a few siblings of, of him. And this is a province, this is a very rural area in, in China, uh, Xin, 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 something like that. I don't remember well the, the name of the city or how to pronounce it, but as far as you know, on the Instagram, the guy lives in a very rural area, besides uh, very far away from the cities. So he had the time to build the boots with immaculate uh, precision. And in this side, we have the grandstone, which is uh, more like a nix or white. They have some uh, production line uh, made by hand, handmade but fusion with modern uh, machinery so it gives opportunity to give uh, a very good boots high quality materials and i'm this is my first pair of, of grandstones and i'm in shock the the, the great quality this boot uh, had so let's start first with uh, with grandstone well this uh this leather is they advertise as Dune, D-U-N-E. I, I think it's like natural chrome Excel. And it's, well, the hair by itself have, have a lot of quality. Um, already used this boot like four or five times. And as you can see here, the stitching on the toe, they use like a machinery to the needle to penetrate and just in one single piece i don't think this is a two pieces uh, glued together like the, the red with mock toes and watch the precision of the stitching uh, i'm not sure i haven't seen any videos about how the boots are made from grandstone but watching pants which i got i got these ones a year ago i, I believe now that people in china have a very immaculate precision just uh watch all the stitching not not a single line is moved from the other one um, sometimes with the pnws you will see a little bit of it's, it's really hard to do this type of work i had tried here with a cobbler is i did just a horrible work and i have a lot of respect to people who work with leathers because it's, it's really hard to to do the, the the stitching on the pole sewing with the pole and you, you do the three-dimensional three um, movements but all the stitching is really immaculate um, the texture of the leather by itself chrome XL is uh, a pull out you can watch you have some some pull out full of waxes, uh, like any other Chrome XL. It's very, very nice. A lot of character of the boot. Um, you have a Storm Weld 360. Let me show it to you guys a little bit slowly so you can watch. This is leather, this is not plastic like the Thor goods. Um, it looks like uh, two, two pieces. A good or well i'm not sure if this by hand or or how i, I cannot I, I will not say something that i don't i'm not sure about about it but i can tell you it's a very nice finish a very nice finish with block heel the sole is uh, something that they made looks like the truma and 
very good stitching not channeling just stitch here um, very very nice cotton laces flats and well let's let's watch in the interior of the boot there you go um oh well I use a triple E I'm Brannock nine double E and I have to downsize one one full size down this one have some kind of liner on the inside a very very light liner like, I'm not sure if it's lamp or what it is but it's very comfortable really really comfortable boot and congratulations on these guys you're talking about I paid for this one, I think 400, 420, something like that. I, I got it on the Father's Day sale. The range of their prices with grindstones, you're talking about 350. Well, they used to be 350, I think that now 380 to 450. So even, even if they are a little bit expensive, these guys can exchange your boot if it didn't fit right you have a lot of pros with these guys you have the ground size you can return the the, the, the boot they want to change to you they have a constantly moving uh, different type of leathers they have a uh, the shell cartoon they had a promotion one or two weeks ago they were asking 700, 690, something like that for a pair of shell cardoban brass boots. Man, that's that's honestly really cheap. So congratulations to these guys. This is something made in China, which um, I was a skeptical and I say, hey, let me give it a try. I like this, this type of leather, the color and the mock toe shape. It's very roomy in the front. It has a elastic toe. So it's very, very roomy. I really will um, suggest to you go one, one size down. And these are pretty nice boots to, to go casual. And I wear them uh, going to the office and with my family. And these are meant to work well, yeah, for anyone who works as li light duty. And yes, perfectly. You can wear them in construction if you want to, like, Nobody's going to say, no, nobody's going to stop you, but I think you have a better options out there. But consider the price and the high quality, these, these boots, you will not going to, to break these boots in years. The quality is just amazing. It's just, I'm, I'm surprised of, of the good quality this guy had. And well, let's talk now about Panda. Um, I just got my generation laces these are flat um, I was waiting for flat uh, made of what is called this material paracor but with with flight flat laces man I've been wearing a lot for this I'm very excited to, to put to the test these laces and these are they didn't give me anything to 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 mention on the video. I'm just excited. <laughs> uh, the first the first pair I wanted to put in my flame planners, and Peng uh, from Flame Panda, he made uh, immaculate work. Let me show it to you. The stitching same as Grandstone. This pair is the double price of these uh, Grandstones. So here, why double? Well because Peng have a price for the six inches and I ask obviously for an eight and price go, goes up and right now I think this type of pair goes between 900 or a thousand dollars if you hold if you ask for whole from or Shinki Hikaku with with Peng it's been um, it's been really nice having this pair of boots look the stitching it's just amazing guys is a precision station on the boot no mistakes not even on the heel counter not even here everything is done with a lot of precision it's a combination of function 
high quality and art master master skills right there I asked for a single mid so but the pattern that he has on the on the mock tool he gave me an extra here on the front which I have to say that flame panda this guy made I don't know what type of oak tan leathers where he he buy the oak tans but pink pears are flame pandas are very very tough hard to break and stiff very stiff everything is stiff well this you have here half round which is already stiff and this double midsole was well, a single hybrid in the front he had one more plus the one that is inside on the bed so this guy want to kill me I can tell you this is the stiffer pair of boots I have in all my collection. Pen made really, really, really <laughs> stiff boots. Um, Perf is my fault because I chose Horfron. I'm excited about this leather. It's amazing. Just I didn't knew that this guy make tremendous. Treme he have a uh, tremendous materials very stiff but one of the best this is a pro absolutely with the time it's gonna flex the boot is gonna start flexing right now i can't flex a lot oh man that's it's quite hard if i try to make this grandstone it's a lot better yeah a lot better but pen make absolutely beautiful work watch let me show you the inside of the boot so you can appreciate more why I call this guy a master. Just watch. This is the high detail work that work to pay extra. This is just the way he saw the eyelets around the eyelets. Uh, everything is really 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 high quality precision this is what you get when you pay extra and well I love I love this pair I want to use I want to use it more now that I have these laces so I'm ready to break this this boys you're gonna see a, a few posts in on my Instagram about these mock toes often um some some something besides the the good craftsmanship of pen um he's very um shy about posting a lot about his uh his chop and everything how he does the boots i don't really i haven't seen any video about pen how he makes boots neither grandstones but i know grandstone it, it has some videos online i haven't found anything about pen no pictures, no interviews. So it's uh I don't know who is if really pen exists or not, but whoever made these boots, it's amazing. Let me show you this mock This is the same as this pair, it's just one piece. So, uh, but it, it passed through a machine that Sus made this channel. I think Nick's have the same the same machine. And well it is worth to pay almost $1,900 and $400, $500 for a pair of Made in China. I think yes, absolutely. I can even say that, well, this boot you have it in stock most of the time, so you can buy it right away anytime. You don't have to wait like the PMWs. You can just put the purchase, uh, put the order, buy them, and in less than a week, you can get them in your home. And when you buy in PNWs, you have to wait quite a time. I'm not saying this is better than PNWs. I'm just uh, specifying that this guy having in stock a lot of stuff. So, Grand Store have a lot in stock. Pen is, is completely day and night. Pen, you have to wait. The guy have a, a very long list. And right now, I think you need to wait a year, almost year and a half, so to get a pair of boots here, 
to go with uh, send your measurements is uh, everything handmade and back and forward with him the guy was on the point that he wasn't replying very often to you your messages so it takes it was taking almost three weeks one month he to reply just like hey what, what type of, of I don't know what type of last is this one and after a month oh this one and you send back the message another month so it was taking quite a time now I think he he grew up very fast Pang grew up all the flame panda uh, line work uh, he exploded and had a lot of success because of the great quality boots he made and I think that was a factor of him trying to figure out how to make the boots contact the customers make everything happy right everyone happy the customer he uh, his materials his labor so i think he already find the sweet spot and now he he's uh, replying to you a lot sooner two three days and he make an agreement with you about how you want to the boots and you can watch a lot of people on instagram who have flame pandas these are unique patterns. These are the best mock tools I ever watched. I, I'm waiting for a pair of NYX mock tools because obviously I can't pass those, but these are one of the best, if not the best mock tools uh, out there. My fitting is pretty nice. In the front, he, same like the like ground tool is elastic and it's quite a tall, it's, you have here a lot of area what compared to this boot you have more 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 room to play with your toes and it's really nice these are really nice and I'm I'm very happy to to see more companies coming from China with this type of quality trying to uh, put aside that everything made in China is, is low quality or it's cheap or it will not last this boot these two boats are amazing and will last a lot and guys thank you for for being here with me and i wish you the best hope if you like some of the go with it to the instagram and if you want if you're interested on flame panda grandstone have a website and you can watch a lot of their of their other boots um i have a lot right now but i may buy another one from from them yeah they have a very good leathers very good prices um how you how you gonna say no so it's uh i like to see competition i really like to see competition from these guys to the world so all the manufacturers like red wings all the pnw's all the, the 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 brands like Alden, the elegant, uh, the elegant brands, um, trying to compete, right? Who's going to and improve their designs, improve the leathers, improve their price too? We want to see a bright access for good quality boots. So at the end, every competition is always good. So thank you guys and have an amazing day. Muchas gracias a todos y un saludo. Bye bye.